Alright YouTube, now I just wanted to give you a quick update on my garden. And this is kind of for two people. I wanted to show this to Oil the Gun and also to cutler, Cutlery Lover for two reasons. And please don't make fun of my weeding. I have been a bit behind. But you can see we have the uh, we have the zucchini coming in. There's a couple of small ones right there. They're, we had some battled some beetle problems, but they're starting to come back. And then we have some cucumbers. We've been eating a lot of cucumbers. And if you can see one, there's one right there coming in. And then we got all kinds of tomatoes. And we went a little overboard with the tomatoes this year. But we've got plants everywhere. We've got lots of them coming in. We're just waiting on, the, waiting on them to turn red and so we can start eating them. We've already had about four of them turn red. But it's just a process of waiting on them to come through. This was our peas. They've all dried and withered away because it's getting too hot for them here in Missouri. But the peas were delicious. We're going to plant some more mid-August and hopefully they get running again. And then we've got our, our lettuce to make us some nice salads. And then we've got basil, followed by basil, followed by more basil. And then we've got some nice mint going. And then actually this whole section where the mint and the basil was was all carrots but unfortunately we've only got two carrots that survived they're right there they're growing in I'm not too sure how much longer we're letting them grow but uh, they seem to be happy and healthy and then we got half a row of green beans which are doing pretty good and then this is where I hope Cutlery Lover gets excited. We have a bunch of cayennes. Cayennes everywhere. These are all of our cayenne bushes. Look at some of these. They're doing great. So, me and the wife are very happy with how well the cayennes are doing. And then we got our green bell peppers, which haven't produced but one bell pepper. They're not even flowering. We're not quite sure what's going on. They're growing well, but they're just not producing. Then we have our red bell peppers, which have been going crazy. But as of re recently, as you can see, the red bell peppers have been getting attacked by something. We're not quite sure what's, what's getting them, but they're getting those little sores on them. And they're falling off premature. So as soon as, right before they're ready to fall, we actually have been picking them and eating them but uh, they've been getting they've been getting hit all right more peppers these are our anaheims that we've got just in pots no peppers no flowers nothing yet going on there oh I apologize those are our Thai peppers we're not too sure how they're gonna do nothing there these are the anaheims and we're starting to see a couple flowers on this side so hopefully we'll get some get some peppers off that and then we've got some lemongrass so my wife's half Cambodian so we have to get the oriental food going in there and we got our rosemary I'm gonna skip these two so you don't exactly know what they are yet then we've got our cilantro <laughs> and our green onion is basically died we've had no luck with the green onions more cilantro and then we have our habanero and right there's our very first habanero and then something that i really want cutlery lover to see and i hope he enjoys it it actually grows in missouri look at that the ghost pepper plant and right there is our first ghost pepper growing and if you can see all the flowers behind it hopefully it'll be quite prolific and just in case that one doesn't work out we have two both of which are producing fruits so hopefully sorry hopefully by the end of this growing season we'll have some some ghost peppers <laughs> I doubt I will eat one raw but we hope to do some cooking with them. So, we'll see. And I've not really grown too many peppers before, but 
hopefully these work out and hopefully uh, the heat of Missouri doesn't kill them off before they are ready to get really get really growing but anyway that's our garden see you later